Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to create a new controller on Visual Studio 2022 by using the pre-install program that comes with the you know, Visual Studio, which is the Swagger. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a new project. And it's going to be ASP.NET Core Web Application. Go ahead and click Next, or you can search up, up here. Go ahead and click Create. Give it a second. All right, so let's go ahead and run the application just to make sure everything is it's working, and it should be. And as you guys can see here, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed when you create a uh, core application web API on Visual Studio 2022, you have the Swagger pre-install. So basically what I'm gonna be showing you is how to add a controller, just like this weather forecast controller to the Swagger. So it shows up here and you can test it in here. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, it's uh, on the Solution Explorer, expand the controller folder, right click on it and click add and click add controller. It can be just a MVC controller empty, it doesn't really matter what it is. Double click on it. Let's call it test controller. Go ahead and click add. Okay, if you try to run it just like this, You don't see the controller here. So you question, so what do I have to do to get it here? So that's that's what this is about, all right? So let's go ahead and go, let's open it up, the weather forecast controller. As you guys can see here, the uh, weather forecast controller has this control base, the control base, the controller base. Go ahead, go ahead and put it here, controller base. And also has the API controller property and the route property to controller. Go ahead and copy that and paste that to the top. Paste that to the top of your brand new controller. Our next step is we're going to create a function for our controller. Public int. Let's do a get. And we're just going to return 0 or 100. Oops. So now that we created our get function, next step is the last step is going to be we need to get the HTTP get and come up with a name for it. So on this one, it's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to add it to the function, the HTTP get and create get integer. And that should be all you need when creating a new controller. Let's go ahead and run it. Uh, you know, I'm just going to put a breakpoint here so you see where we're hitting it. Go ahead and run your project. And there you go. If you can see in swag, Swagger, now I have the test controller and the weather forecast controller. If you want to go ahead and test it, drop down, click try it out, and go ahead and execute. As you guys can see, it hits that function. Go ahead and click F5. You're going to see here on the results is 100. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Um, this, tutorial, this tutorial is pretty much just about showing you how to add the controller on the new Visual Studio 2022 ASP Core.NET application. So if you guys have any questions, uh, just drop them below.